One of the difficulties that we have, and one of the reasons that this issue is contentious, and one of the reasons that we have a packed house here tonight, um, is that there are multiple interests. In 2010, the Missouri Supreme Court upheld a 1993 state law in its ruling of the Turner v. Clayton School District case. The law states that children attending unaccredited schools can transfer to accredited schools, and those unaccredited school districts must pay the tuition. Currently, both St. Louis and Kansas City school districts are unaccredited. The Supreme Court sent the case back to the St. Louis County Circuit Court, and beginning March 5th, the Circuit Court will decide on how to implement the ruling. We're, we're unsure of what the judges are going to say, um, you know, this is really contentious. I know that the people who are very supportive of Turner um, are, are doing everything possible to challenge the system. Let's just be frank about it. If Turner is allowed to stand as it is and children leave the district with the amount of money that leaves the district, uh, that will bankrupt St. Louis Public Schools. On one hand, we are uh, morally obligated really to try to provide a quality education for every student. The other thing we have to balance with is that we don't want to overwhelm uh, potential receiving districts under Turner uh, in the county with a number of students that they can't handle, that maybe they don't have facilities or staff or, or whatever to handle, and we don't want to change a successful school culture. our answer right under our nose and we heard this in testimony over and over at the Capitol. The Catholic schools, and they're not the only ones, but the parochial schools have come and in a hearing they told us we have been doing this with these kinds of kids in the urban area for 200 years and we are here, senators and representatives, this came at the Capitol, to offer you 8,000 seats. In Senator Cunningham's bill, which is Senate Bill 706, which I looked at just before I came over here, there are many more positives, many more things we agree on than we disagree on. It's actually the first time I've seen that the reasonable parameters of the school districts in St. Louis were asking for. We, we talk about all the money, but we also need to talk about the kids in the situation. We don't want our, at least I don't want my son on a bus for you know an hour and a half each way when I know that we can try and find solutions for local educational options within the city and we want to try and do that as much as possible. 